One Owner Car Guy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Do all kinds of old cars. All kinds of videos on doing things to cars. This video is going to be buffing and polishing. More polishing than buffing. Nice, all kinds of good stuff around. It's about a Chevy K20. I don't know what it is now. K10, but I think it's K20. By the time you get done figuring in the conversion to the big block and the different axles and stuff. Um, it's a clean truck and it's got its obvious damages as you can see little holes and stuff and I think it's worth getting the most out of what you can get meaning not only just getting the most of your money out of it but getting the most value out of it um, I'm not painting it and I'm not gonna even change the fenders that I've got in the back I'm just gonna do what I do and show you what I do and down in the description below there'll be a link to my Amazon store where you can get the products I'm using in this so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get to it start polishing I'm not gonna polish this because it was primered but I'm gonna polish all this and it's gonna look amazing that's all I got to say all right I'm gonna buff half of this fender again right from that cord up to the front a lot of hand polishing with mothers if you get the chrome up this polish too it does a pretty dang good job let me show you the difference on what that did to the fender I mean we're talking about a whole different color with a whole different shine to it and this way you'll probably be able to see that shine a little better but look I'm going to go across the brickland here and show you just a whole different deal. Look at that, man. And like I say, Bricklands, Transamsons, more Transams, more Transams, old step side Dodge, old other classics and classics and classics and airport runway lights, all kinds of stuff, man. If you like C10s and K10s, though, I got a couple nice ones. Ooh, look at them wheels on that Jeep. I'm gonna start in on the front fender and you can see there's all kinds of little corrosion marks starting. This will get rid of most of them. There's little scratches, chips, and stuff like that. It'll make a lot of that go away, but it doesn't take the rust away. It's just gonna make it look a little better. The more paint will take off. This is very old paint. Well, I mean, the older the paint job is, I guess. It's been repainted, maybe not.
Ooh. Like I say, the older your truck is, the more pain it'll take off. Now the third thing I put in here is a wax, because I don't want to take time to two stage, three stage, or nothing else this. I'm just painting or I'm buffing. So I will shoot you along down the line here. Add a little bit more in. Okay, just a little buffing, and you can definitely see a difference. <laughs> Well, there we go. As you can see, it's plainly making it, look at no shine, shine. Watch this. Before I forget to show it, it just totally changes that, plus the color of the paint in general. I mean, and after looking at this side so much now, as shiny as it is, even though it's dark out, if you go to the other side and you look at this, it's a lot duller, buddy. Pretty much puts a great shine on the whole thing. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this side out for tonight. And that's kind of where I'm going to leave that, is doing this last little part here. Look at this. Difference of this and this. I mean, it's just... Look at this, this, and this. You can tell I did half of it, boom. Okay, just to show some more of what this does, I buffed half of the fender, and you'll see, <laughs> you can tell. This side is just dull, 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 dull. But when you get over here, boom! It's like the sun came, look at that. And it's nice and squeaky, shiny, clean. Um, we washed this the other day, and we'll take another wash. You can look across the top there to see that shine coming back at you. And this will restore any old paint. I, lots of people, look at this. I don't know if you've seen the before of this one. But I mean, it is what it is. It's an old truck, man. It's got 9,000 or 12,000 original miles. But it's a clean truck. It was a parks and service truck. Look at this fender. Look at the back here. This is as nice as it can be, but a guy might as well polish it out and make it look a little better. So that's that. God dang, look at that. Woo, buddy. Well, I did half the door, and as you can see, it looks pretty good. There'll be more smudges of polish that come off in the washing and stuff. But don't be surprised if you're using this process on something with compromised paint like this, and you get things you didn't see before. And it just looks like a stain on the paint there. I don't know if you can see that. And here, I don't know what this is. It looks like he was spraying uh, de-icer in it or something. Something dripping down. I don't know. But you get things like that versus you don't see them here, but it's all faded. So you can see boom. You can see the dull in the middle and boom. I mean, it's just, we're boxed in. Look at that front fender though, man. Ooh, buddy. All right, it's a different day. I'm gonna finish it up, but I wanted to show you, especially, I think it tripped over a battery. 
especially on this. Look at this. It's just, it's night and day. And you really wouldn't think to um, buff this. Watch. Big difference, man. Huge difference. Door, look at that. Huge difference. And I'm going to finish it up right now. I just wanted to, I came out a different day to do this. And I was like, holy smokes. I got to tell somebody about this. Look at that. Look at the difference. It's crazy. Okay, this is an after of doing all that polishing of that truck. And like I say from the beginning, I'm not looking for perfect. Because, but look at that shine going on the side. Because this truck is not perfect, not in any way. And I'm not trying to tell people, hey, this truck's perfect. No. But it's a pretty clean truck. And it's had all the, it's had everything but the body and paint done pretty much. It's in great shape. And I'll tell you what, the difference of before and after on this truck. Look at this. It's just actually got, it's got nice, it does have a little bit of good paint left, I guess you'd say. But it looks pretty good. And I um, blacked out the bumpers a bit, made them look a little better. And it's for sale. It's going up for sale. And I thought I'd just show you guys the end result of that buffing and polishing and all that good stuff. And like I say, all the products we use are in the link below. And I make a mixture of my finesse it with the wax and if i want something a little more aggressive i'll put the super duty rubbing compound or whatever in there you'll see it all on my amazon storefront down below in the link thanks for watching have a great day or night whatever it is wherever you are Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. classics buddy give me a call i got all kinds of stuff for sale we'll talk to you